Hello and welcome to today's video. So this time we're going to be having a look at the Super Nintendo, the SNES, running on my Valve Steam Deck. And uh, this is just using the standard RetroArch emulator. And uh, that's being run through Emu Deck, which has just had an update as I film this. So when I fired up uh, Emu Deck to film this video, it automatically downloaded and installed a little update. So I've got the bang up to date latest version. And here is the uh, the first game, Hero Strike. Just a, a very, very straightforward schmuck. Um, you know, fairly enjoyable. I like uh, these style of games, and there's quite a few of them for the SNES. So uh, if this is the sort of thing that you're after, you won't be uh, struggling to find something like this. Um, we've got 20 games to show you today, and uh, we'll play like a minute or so of each one. There's a, a couple of games we'll play a little bit longer of um, because they're sort of classics and that. But um, this is very much going to be part one of two. Um, there's so many great SNES games out there. And it was always a system which, although I never owned it back in the day, um, it was one that I always uh, enjoyed like watching my mates play the ones who had, had a SNES. This is uh, Aladdin, which is slightly different to the Mega Drive version. So for me, I around the time of the SNES, I was playing the Mega Drive and then onto the PlayStation 1, the original PlayStation. So that I never went the sort of the, the Nintendo route at this time. But it's got some fantastic games on it and they play very, very well. On the Steam Deck, you can see they look lovely. They're pixel perfect. The sound is unbelievable it's so so good as you would expect a few of the games are starting to show their age now and that's you know par for the course with uh, with retro gaming but there's still some here that have got some fantastic gameplay and a few i had not played in years so i was uh, very pleased to fire those ones up again yeah, this is aliens versus Predator. Wasn't quite as good as I was hoping this one. I one I never played before. I thought I'd give it a try. And uh, it's good, but it's just, you know, sort of a, almost like a bit of a Street Fighter version. Street Fighter clone. Now I have just been sent a brand new piece of kit which should allow me, if I plug it into my Steam Deck, to record the Steam Deck screen really, really easily. So potentially this might be the last sort of Steam Deck video where I show you it sort of over my shoulder, as it were, with me playing the deck, um, because I might be able to just do, you know, perfect 1080p or even 4K um, screen recording off the Steam Deck, in which case um, we'll, uh, we'll do that going forward. So I should have it ready for next week. This is a real favourite of mine. Arkanoid, Revenge of Dose. This is like the sequel to the original Arkanoid and um, it's got uh, 20 levels. The same as the uh, the original arcade game, which I managed to finish back in the day, actually, on the arcade. Absolutely fantastic game, this one. If I had my own arcade of original machines, this would be in it or at least a version of Arkanoid, but this was always my favourite one. Really, really fantastic. And the, and the final level, where you've just got this huge face on the screen, is really, really something. Yeah, always was a, my favourite of the, the Breakout clones. Good stuff. Now, I've got a soft spot for Batman games. I've always sort of liked them. Um, some are better than others. This is one I don't really remember playing at all. Um, and it's quite unforgiving. You've got to really know the level to get through it. But that's okay. I don't mind a challenge. <laughs> and I like Batman, so uh, you know, it's a good one to, uh, to get your teeth stuck into. Around this sort of time, there were lots of uh, just straight up shoot 'em ups and platformers. That seems to be the bread and butter of the SNES. 
but they look great. They are very much of their time, sort of, you know, early 90s, early to mid 90s. The thing was, the games were just so expensive, even back then, you know, when they were brand new, you're looking at like 30, 40 pound a game. And, um, you know, this is over 20 years ago now, and that was a lot of money back then, so when you found people who had a SNES, they only had a handful of games, generally speaking. And we couldn't have uh, a Nintendo playthrough without another Castlevania game. This is Vampire's Kiss. Once again, not one I think, not one I've, I think I've ever played, but I've played like versions like it. And um, the uh, the sort of SNES graphics here are very, very similar um, to what you would expect on like a Game Boy Advance, really. Um, and you know, some of the games are almost identical to their GBA cousins, which came along a little bit later. Obviously, a bit more high definition to cater for the bigger screen. But yeah, the Castlevania game, really great fun there. Really cool. This was fairly forgiving this one. It wasn't ridiculously difficult straight from the off, which some of these actually were. <laughs> this is Choplifter 3. I couldn't believe there was three of them. So uh, I don't remember ever playing this one, but the principle is obviously the same. You know, just glide your chopper over to the, uh, to the, uh, like, the hostages, try and rescue them, try not to bomb them. There we go, there's a couple on the floor there. So I pick them up and, uh, Get them back to base. This is Chuck Rock. This is one that I really enjoyed uh, playing. Sort of like, a, well, it's a platformer again. Sort of set in the prehistoric age. Really nice, colourful graphics, good soundtrack, and some nice, interesting sort of in-game gimmicks, really. Sort of like they're riding the back of dinosaurs, and you get picked up by a pterodactyl, a pterodactyl, and uh, carried over to the next part of the level. It's really good. There's one bit where you have to uh, avoid a massive dinosaur's poo <laughs> landed on your head. You get the idea. It was a game with a bit of fun. Contra 3, The Alien Wars. This was tough, you know. This was a tough, tough game. One that you need to play quite a bit just to really sort of get familiar with the levels to make a bit of progress on it. Classic Donkey Kong Country, one of the great games from Rare, of course. Almost like a seal of uh, quality on these classic Nintendo games.
and I do love a bit of Doom. This one didn't have... I mean, it must have just been an arcade port because it's not exactly, you know, high-res graphics. It's not been souped up for the uh, Super Nintendo, but, you know, it is the basic Doom game and uh, it plays really well. Once again, once you know the levels, you can fly through these, but it's great fun, it really is. Double Dragon, The Shadow Falls. This is, you know, once again, not exactly brilliant. Um, I hadn't, out of all the, the games I've played, and admittedly this is only scratching the surface of the SNES's library, um, I haven't really found a decent sort of beat em up or fighting game at all, so far anyway. But, you know, I'm sure I've got, as I've only gone about halfway through, so I'm sure one will come across it. Um, if there is a particularly really good sort of fighting game that you know of on the SNES, do please leave a comment below and I'll be sure to uh, film and try that game uh, on the second part of this video. Another classic, F-Zero. And they all look the same though, really, don't they? On all the different systems, as we've tried it on most of them now. You know, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Advance, N64. They're all very, very similar. Yet another fighter. This one wasn't too bad, I just uh, wasn't particularly good at it. <laughs> And here we have the opening for Final Fantasy IV. This is like the 10th anniversary sort of re-release of it. And this is really just the opening sort of title sequence, which I thought you'd enjoy seeing.
and classic turn-based action. Now this is Flashback. Now this is another one I played on the Mega Drive and I didn't realise it had come out on the SNES and uh, it, it actually looks better than the Mega Drive version um, but it took me a little bit of time to realise uh, how to control you, you guy, you know? So this one reminded me a little bit of Hang On, Sega's Hang On, it's full throttle. Fairly responsive sort of uh, mobile biking game here. Once again, it took a little bit of getting used to, a little bit of um, outrun in this as well, where uh, you're trying to um, uh, sort of go through certain things. And also the, uh, other, the other bikers can like smack you off your bike. How dare they? <laughs> Quite, quite a good one this just prior to setting up you can actually soup up your your bike you've got a little budget of like four and a half thousand and you can you know, choose your engine upgrades and things like that different ways to enhance your bike before you start off This is one I um, I was really pleased to play because I didn't have it at the time. It's the uh, the Judge Dread game. Big fan of the Judge Dread comics. I do with all my Nintendo videos. I wanted to show at least a you know, couple of laps of Super Mario Kart. You know, we have looked at the, this particular game on all the different systems, and uh, it is really good. You know, the SNES version wasn't my favourite. Um, I chose the 100cc version. I played as like Donkey Kong for a change. I didn't choose the most basic circuit, but it is what it is. You know, um. They are fantastic racing games, they always have been, and uh, easily still the best on the console. final game we're looking at today is Super Star Wars which is a real favourite of mine this really was fantastic love this one and they did a Super Empire Strikes Back and Super Return of the Jedi for the SNES now I haven't really figured out which one I'm going to be doing next week I have a feeling it might be GameCube Part 2 
so we'll have a look at another 20 or so GameCube games and hopefully I'll have my uh, screen grabber then so it'll be perfect quality without any reflection <laughs> anyway thank you very much for watching today if you've enjoyed it do please give it the thumbs up and if you've not subscribed already do please hit the subscribe button and help grow the channel thanks very much for watching today and I look forward to seeing you again very soon bye